Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to this paint guide today. So I've primed this miniature with Mechanica Standard Grey and then Grey's here for the kind of Rattlecown Zemphia highlight. So we're painting the top half of this pulse rifle and armor panels today with Corn Red. So this paint scheme is using some contrast paint and some basic Citadel base paints. Um, yeah, so you can see me applying it onto the panels there. It looks kind of nice and we'll get it darkened down later when we put a wash on. So now we're using Black Templar contrast paint and it works really nicely on this model because it just sinks into the fatigues nicely. If you get any on the armor panels, don't worry, just paint over again with corn red. But yeah, the great thing of contrast, what I find, it just flows in nicely and you've got the nice brush control and it looks really nice on these textured fatigues. So now for the feet. If you like that stuff, lucky you. Um, we're using base the fang. So it's just for the two feet on this model. That bit of grey blue helps the model pop. And now we're doing the emblems on the pulse rifle and the shoulder pad. And we're literally just using Retributor Gold. So just apply that one, two thin coats. You know how it is by now. Just apply as necessary. You can decide, but always two thin coats. And now all over. We are doing a wash of shade non oil and yeah just apply one nice wash and it'll sink into all the details nicely. If it pulls up in certain areas just take it off by using the brush. So now we're going to do the eye lenses so you've got to um, squeak those eyes now and concentrate. I just used Iron Hand Silver for these eyes. And then to give it a bit of a blue pop I used the technical paint. It was the Soulstone Blue from Sitdale Technical Paints. So it's like a nice gem, but it gives it a kind of cool eye lens look. Now you see it. That's the model done. But I'm now going to show you the model with the base done. So of course you choose your bases. But here's what I did for mine. So yeah, I think that really brought the model together then. It helps it pop. You've got that cool kind of sci-fi, tougher grass. I've got some basic gravel texture stuff. And yeah, I'm quite happy how this model turned up. And there's a closer look. Now, of course, this isn't award-winning painting, but we're not about that here. This is just getting your model painted and ready to play. And I would be happy to play this with an entire force painted like this. So hopefully you like that too. So leave comments and all that if you want to. Like, subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm Alex, and this is Alex Attempts Tabletop. So I just want to say an extra thank you to the people on screen. A pound a month to get blogs. There's some new videos coming out on the Patreon in the new year, so you can always check them out. And also, once again, if you have suggestions, leave some in the comments. And this is probably the last video for this year. So thank you if you're new or old and you've been watching Alex Attempts Tabletop. And hopefully 2023 is good to you, it's good to me, and we all have a good time hobbying. So till next time, you take care and all the best. Thank you.